regarding a top data science job but struggling to clear the interviews? Or are you just scared of the thought that you have a data science interview coming up? Worry not because in today's video, we shall give you some tips and tricks on how to crack a data science interview. Hello guys, welcome back to Simply Learn. Without further ado, let's quickly jump into the topic and go through the tips to pass a data science interview. People are usually tensed when they have an interview lined up. To crack any interview, you should always remember the three P's. Patience, practice and positivity. When you have the three P's with you, cracking an interview is not a big deal. Talking about data science interviews, several types of data science interviews are being conducted by various companies. Some of them are product and metric driven, whereas others tend to mix machine learning and programming. The product and metric driven interviews focus more on asking product related questions. These questions are often followed by SQL and Python questions. You might have taken part in several data science interviews but not clearing any. Then there's a good chance that something is wrong. There are several reasons why you're not clearing a data science interview. The main reasons are either you're not qualified for the job you've applied for or there is something in your resume that's bothering the recruiters. Either way, it would be better to directly consult a person with good knowledge who can assess your resume and give you an in-depth insight into what's going wrong. Once you figure out the mistakes you're making, it'll be easier to rectify that and modify your application or resume. Do not be discouraged if this takes a while. There is a lot of competition for these positions in the industry and the job hiring process will be somewhat arbitrary. Well, let us look into some of the points you will need to know for clearing the data science interviews. Understand the different roles in data science. Understand the skills required for your role. Ask questions during the interview. Stay professional always. Let us look into each one in detail. The first one is understanding the different roles in data science. This is the most important thing you will need to initially know. You might want to get into data science, but the question is what in data science? There are various roles in the data science ecosystem and you will have to figure out which one suits you the best. Just randomly attending a data science interview without knowing your destination is the wrong choice. Question yourself, what role in data science do I want to pursue? Here are some of the different job roles in data science. Data engineer, data scientist, data analyst, data architect, business analyst, data visualizer, data science manager, machine learning engineer, and many more. Spend some quality time researching the job roles and in identifying which one is the perfect fit for you. Prepare yourself accordingly and then attend the interview. This will for sure help you in your interviews. Preparing for a role and attending some other interview for another data science role will not help you clear the interviews. Up next, we have understanding the skills required for your role. If you need to have strong coding skills for the role you're looking forward to, but lack the skill, you will not find your way to that job. For a data engineer role, you will need to have a strong background in Python and software engineering. Similarly, for a business analyst role, you will mainly require good base of technical skills, good problem solving skills and communication skills. During an interview, if the recruiter finds the required skills missing in you for the position you have applied for, you will be rejected. The interview format might remain the same for all the roles, but the interviewer's expectation will vary depending on the job role you have applied for. So. Research your job role in depth and build the skills required for that. By doing this, you will be ready to face your recruiter and answer the questions accordingly. Up next we have, ask questions during the interview. When you are in an interview with a hiring manager or with a recruiter, you are usually asked if you have got any questions for them. Many people fail to ask questions at this stage. Make use of this opportunity to understand more about your job role and the company. Try avoiding the monotonous questions like what are the working hours, how quickly can I get promoted and such. 
it would be best if you asked questions that show your curiosity and passion for the job you've applied for. These are the small things that matter in adding up to your overall performance. It would help if you showed your interest in the job role and the hiring manager will for sure appreciate that. At last we have stay professional always. Be it during the interview or post the interview, you should always be professional. It would be best to remember that you are there for a data science interview and not for a casual talk. You will see various professionals during the interview. You might be interviewed by an HR person, a hiring manager, the data science project team or a project manager. No matter who it is, always stay professional throughout the interview. Dress professionally and talk professionally. You will be judged on all these criteria for your overall performance and the final selection. Well, these are just some of the points you need to keep in mind during a data science interview. Unlike software development positions that have more standardized processes for their interviews, data science interviews can have massive variations. Because the field of data science is vast and as discussed before, data science roles are numerous. There isn't an agreed definition of a data scientist. So, having proper research before applying for a data science role is advised. Let us now talk about some of the technical aspects that come along during a data science interview. You are mostly asked to code using platforms such as Codepad, which has a code editor and a way to run your code. Sometimes, you might even be asked to write a code on a Google Doc. So it would help if you were comfortable either way. It's completely okay to ask for help if you're stuck midway. Also, do not be afraid to ask for a minute or two to think about the problem you are given before you start solving it. Apart from coding, you will have to face many technical questions on SQL, Python, etc. So ensure that you are entirely ready to answer the technical questions. As you are interviewed by a team's technical member, at the end of an interview, you can ask them about the coding standards, how the team works, and what their day looks like. This will portray your genuine interest in being a part of that technical team. Well, now let's have a quick recap about the things we've discussed in this video. Make sure you understand the different roles in data science before you apply for a job. Once you've decided which role to go for, the next step is to understand the skills required for that particular role. During the interview, show your curiosity and passion in the job role you've applied for by asking relevant questions. Always stay professional because you are there to attend a data science interview. You should be comfortable to code in any of the platform that's given to you. And finally, Always be prepared for the technical questions, be it Python, SQL or any other technical subject. Once you understand these things, you will for sure find success in clearing a data science interview. Hopefully, we've provided you with some insight on the tips to crack a data science interview. However, with your adequate preparation and repeated persistence, you will be able to land in one of your dream jobs in the field of data science in no time. If you have any further questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and we will get back to you soon. Till then, keep learning. I hope you found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.